What's up guys? It is your girl Sarah from Sarah Styles here. In today's video, I am going to be showing you how to use eBay's tools and analytics to increase those sales, make more money. eBay wants you to succeed. I want you to succeed. So I am showing you how to get into eBay, how to use their tools and analytics. This is a series, so I will link the playlist for other videos like this at the end of this video. I was a Poshmark seller. I, I converted over to eBay roughly a year ago and i'm showing you all of the things that i use to make more money selling on ebay if you look at my charts this is a sarah style sales analytical sales and trends dashboard it's for sale you can look at your data as well but i have made over double on ebay than i made on poshmark and i this is for the past year i have only been on ebay eight months out of the year and my ebay is already doing significantly better i know it can be scary to get on ebay so that's why i've started this series i'll do the playlist at the end so today i'm going to show you how to look at your listings understand those analytics to improve your sales let's jump right into it in on ebay so i did a video last week um and I, like i said the playlist will be linked above if you have a store you have access to all of this so you do have to have a store you go to my sell you go to ebay sell this brings you to your seller hub this is all your tools and analytics on the performance tab and then i'm down here on the traffic on the left hand side so last week like i said i went over these analytics your impressions your page views your quantities sold average click-through rate average conversion rates what those actually mean and if they're down or you want to improve them, what specifically you need to be doing to do that. So I'm going to take that in a little bit deeper. And if you scroll all the way down, you have analytics for each of your items, which can be very overwhelming. I have over a thousand items. Um, so something that I do sales are down or I just want to make more. I take 3% of these every single day, three to 5% every single day. And within the month, I will have made all of my listings better or at least reviewed them and uh, paid attention to them and gone through all of them. So it helps to make um, it less overwhelming. You don't have to go through all of these, but I'm gonna walk through what all these analytics mean and how what you need to do to fix them so that your items are getting more views and essentially selling, right? So I'm on active listings. I wanna point that out because my sales conversion rate is going to be zero i have not sold any of those unless it's an item that has multiples you can look at your sold listings as well um and this is going to show you how you can compare like these mother you know new attack mothers that impression rate is ridiculous um but if you have other similar items you can look and say hey how do the impressions on these items compare so you have sold. I'm going to focus on active today in, in, in making better what you already have, um, what you're listing and why it's not selling. So quantity available. This is how many items you have. Um, it can be helpful if you know you sell multiples and stuff for the sake of this video. I mean, I'm just going to tell you what that means, but we're not going to go too much into that. Impressions. Impressions are, I mentioned in the last video, but impressions are how many items of these are coming across people's eyes on eBay. It can be someone searching for it. It can be it was suggested. So on eBay, you can be looking for something and then it has like, you know, other items like this or suggested items for you. So those are the ways that people can have an impression. You want this number high, right? You want the most people see your items. And what I love that eBay just added to this is you're changing your top 20 search slot impressions. So how are you ranking compared to all of the other items that are exactly like this or similar to this? How are you ranking? Are you getting in that top 20 spot? For this Vera Bradley, um, I was up 8.6%. So compared to the last month, the last time period, I was in that top 20 search eight 0.6% more. That's an awesome thing. eBay does a great job of an up arrow and green means good, a down arrow and red means bad. But I want to further explain what, what this is and how you guys can use it. So that means that people are seeing my search is doing better. So those pictures that I have, the SEOs that I have, the things that are in um, filtering, you know, people are filtering, I want this bag, I want a hobo bag, right? So those are doing well. My change in my non-search impressions is down. So I'm not coming up in, for this item, I'm not coming up as often in those similar items to this or 
um, recommended items for this, right? So that's something that I could work on. eBay page views, external page views, right? So how many views are these getting on the eBay pages? External page views, are they getting quantity sold? Obviously I've not sold any of these, click-through rate. So your click-through rate, this is of people who've seen 707 people have seen this item, zero of them have clicked. That's not good. Um, that's where this is stopping for me. So I something is stopping people from going the next step, right? Someone sees it, then they click on it, then they decide they want to buy it. So you have to go through all of those steps to get them to buy it. My impressions, I'm up 20% on the impressions that can always be better, but what is stopping people to click? If people are not clicking, it's uh, likely there's a lot of other items and you're just not as competitive. That's one option, right? Your pricing's not as competitive. Maybe your item um, has a lot of stain and wear in it. Descriptions aren't very good, stuff like that. What? Is, why are they not clicking through to it? And then sales conversion, obviously you want people to convert. So you can go through all of these and say, hey, you know, this impression, I'm getting a lot of impressions. My search slot is down. So maybe I wanna go into this and change some of those SEOs. Uh, it's becoming spring. So maybe add in maybe some more spring if it's applicable, right? Like only add things that actually describe the item, but you can go in and say, okay, why is this search engine down? Or maybe a lot of new resellers are selling the same item. and I. I need to go in and lower my prices or be a bit more competitive. And that's the thing too, is 0.1% click-through rate. So people are clicking on it, but they're stopping and that's not a great click-through rate. So that's telling me, hey, this item, I'm getting a decent amount of impressions, but people aren't going the one step further. Is it my price? Is it my pictures? Uh, you know, when they're seeing that impression, what is it, what is not standing out for them? Most of the time, honestly, it's price. <laughs> To be honest, um, especially if you have something, I sell a lot of things that are very saturated. So I need to be competitive. If I'm not the high, the best price or the best value, people are just going to scroll to the one after it, right? So I have to really be competitive in my pricing. Yeah, um, this video is, like I said, a series. I'm showing eBay tips and tricks. So this video, no, I think it's this way. Tell me how I'm doing. <laughs> I'm trying something new. I don't know if I'm pointing the right way. This video is something that YouTube thinks you should watch. And this video is the playlist for the other eBay tutorials, analytics, how to shipping, all of the how I became a Poshmark seller on eBay, how to tutorials on eBay. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Have a good day.